Hi friends, welcome to Specsnex. Till date you have seen me within the studio. That means I have reviewed all the gadgets for you like mobile phones, uh, fire TVs, TV, etc. But today we are out in the field. We got a bigger gadget for you to review. Let us see how big a gadget we have for you for the review today. Today we are going to review the Quid 800cc petrol version. Today I have with me my friend Ayan Das. He has got this Quid in the last week only. So today we got his car with him to show you the review of Quid. I will just focus on the Quid now. Hi friends, today we have Oyan with me. Oyan is there with me with this beautiful car. As you can see, this is the Quid petrol version 800cc RXTO. That is RXT optional version. That is the top end version of the petrol variant. Oyan, congratulations for your beautiful car. Thank you so, so much. So as we were discussing uh, that uh, the Renault Quid you have bought, so. Would you like to share your thoughts why you have bought this car and uh, not the other cars which are available at this price range? Uh, sure, like that? sure. I'll, I'll give you a little brief. See, uh, the first thing I would like to uh, give a little details about this uh, beautiful, uh, like you know, Renault Quid that I bought around a week back. So this is the Renault Quid 2019 version, okay, which comes with all the whole lot of features. Uh, that that you will see later on in the video. Apart from all the all the like you know mandatory government specifications which were uh, like you know laid down by the government of India from the transportation department as well. Okay, so this this is an RXT optional variant. Okay, of the Renault Quid. It's a manual uh, transmission uh, vehicle. Okay, with 800 cc uh, like you know power. Okay, it's not a 1.2 liter one liter engine. It's an 800 cc engine. Okay. But uh, this is a top variant of the RXT model, which comes with the like you know basic features of ABS. Comes with uh, anti-lock braking system that you all know, and uh, like you know airbags on the driver side, okay, as well as power steerings and power windows on the front, okay, and manual windows on the rear. And apart from that, like you know, it comes with a fully digital uh, cluster of uh, like you know uh, this thing. Your console is fully digitalized, okay, wherein you get to see all the all the details whenever you are traveling, okay. The speedometer, the odometer, the fuel meter, distance to empty, distance to like you know uh, what is the last mileage that you have been getting from your car, okay, from your vehicle. All these things are have been nicely and uh, like you know beautifully uh, managed inside the small digital cluster of console that has been given. And the main feature of this vehicle is that, you know, it comes with a 7-inch touchscreen, which is very important at this point of time because every day when we are traveling, daily basis, okay, we need to connect it with your mobile phones, okay, to check the calls, to get the, like, you know, messages, whatever it is coming. So, right now, what Reno has done, they have very intelligently, to get the market, of course, they have introduced this model with the 7-inch touchscreen, okay, and it's a very good receptive touchscreen wherein you can connect it with your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and you get all the notifications that are there like you know, on the touchscreen along with the navigation along with the Google Maps and everything that comes on your touchscreen which make, makes it very important for all the like you know people who are driving not only in the city but also out the, out, outside the city when you're going on a like you know long long like you know vacation or whenever you're going for a long drive you're traveling from one city to another you need to take the help of the google maps so you can take it uh, like you know take it up to the neck like you know, on the touch screen and you can use that and apart from that like you know this vehicle uh, this particular uh, Renault Quid is the highest ground clearance that it has which is 118 millimeters and uh, apart from that uh, whatever we see new in this segment is that in this 2019 version is that the front grills have been given as chromes okay and it comes with the fog lamps as well which was not there in the previous version so these are the new things which uh, reno has actually added okay in in the 2019 quid okay so before i took this decision of getting uh, like you know getting this reno quid i had actually compared with two or three other cars which are there in this particular segment of hatchbacks with uh, one of which was uh, santro santro has come up with this new model uh, and along with that since i was having a maruti alto previously so i was again keen on getting into the maruti alto k10 version as well 
So I compared these two vehicles as well. Okay, I had taken test drives of these two vehicles and I had compared the features of these two, like you know, cars apart from the Renault Quid. And uh, there are certain features which I like, you know, which which had actually impressed me in this Quid. And uh, for that reason, why I thought of getting this new vehicle is because of the tire size and the dimension of the tires that Renault is giving with this version of the Quid. It's it's much bigger than compared to whatever you are getting in in in, in the Maruti Alto K10 or even in the uh, like you know Sancho newer version. And second thing is that this is the top version which costed me around 4.6 lakhs on road Kolkata. But then if I had to go for the top road, the top model version of the Sancho, it would have costed me around something around a lakh more or 90,000 more than like you know with all the features which are there in it, which is the touch screen as well as the cameras and everything that is inbuilt in this vehicle and which was lacking majorly in the Alto K10 version. So that is the reason why I decided that with so many power pack features which are there okay, and the engine displacement and everything so good, I decided to go for this particular vehicle. So friends, let, let us see in details all the features he has explained yeah, in our video. Okay, so in this 2019 version of the Quid, the, uh, some of the new features that uh, Renault has actually added is this particular fog lamp, okay, which is there in the top version, which is the RXT optional version. And uh, this uh, panel of headlight remains the same as it was in the previous models of Quid as well. And uh, what they have changed is uh, this uh, front grille panel which they have given as chrome. Okay, It was a uh, mesh, honeycomb mesh kind of a, a design that they had. Now they had much, uh, made it uh, much more of a razor kind of a look. Okay, And the Renault badge in the diamonds okay, which is there in the center. Now coming to the tyres, the tyres are uh, like you know of a 13 inch which is of a um, uh, like you know steel radial uh, tyre, you don't get alloy wheels with it but of optional like you know if you want to change it according to your preferences you can definitely change it but these are normal 13 inch which is of a 180 ground clearance which is the highest in this particular segment. The OR beams are not electronically controlled, neither do have any kind of a joystick inside where you can control it. This is one uh, like you know drawback of the Renault Quid that I would say, because uh, this uh, would have been really great if you could, could have controlled it from internally. Otherwise, every time you have to like you know roll down the window, you have to change the position of your uh, mirror OR beam, and uh, you have to like you know adjust it manually. So that is something. These are the very normal kind of uh, like you know door. Uh, clusters that they have given okay to door opener clusters this is there in the Renault 800 version without any graphics or without any stickers okay it comes normally with the vehicle <coughs> here you get the RXT badging of the Renault at the back okay it gives you the RXT badging On the back, if you uh, if you go on the back, then you would see this uh, normal blinkers as well as uh, like, you know the tail lamp, the shape of the tail lamp, which remains the same, like you know throughout in every bed. Okay. And at the back, you get the Renault badging out here with the bed badging out here, which is in chrome. And uh, which is the major feature that they have added is a back camera, where, uh, which is a back parking camera that they have added in this particular vehicle of the RXT optional version. Okay, which you also get in the climber as well. So it gives you when you go into the inside details, you will be, we will also cover on this particular camera's uh, features. Now let's come to the boot. Now this boot is of 300 liters, which is one of the biggest, biggest in this segment. No other car gives you a boot of 300 liters, wherein uh, like you know with this boot space you can. Um, put in uh, two bags or one suitcase and one bag easily if you are traveling outside the city with your family or something for a, like you know for two days or three days you can always use this particular space which is which is one of the biggest features that Renault has actually added in the quid then uh, below this uh, is the like you know place where you keep your stepneys and everything with uh, the tire opening uh, tools and the tool kits and everything and inside that 
and it also comes with a like you know tray. Now coming to this side, it's almost the same side, identical to the other side that we have been getting. You get the Reno RXT badging, quid RXT badging out here. The fuel, uh, like you know, lead, and uh, the normal, like you know, door map, door handles and everything. On the other side, yes, compared to Maruti and everything, uh, all the other vehicles, the fuel is on the right side. So Reno has done a little bit of a cost cutting, but it is a very intelligent cost cutting, I would say. The reason is that they have given a single blade wiper, which actually, like you know, cleans the entire uh, surface of your windshield very properly. In one way, it is a very advantageous uh, kind of a thing. The reason is, in the double system of wipers that we have, you get a little bit of a cut marks in the, uh, like you know, windshields. But here, in the single uh, wiper blade. You don't get that, and the clarity, like you know, the cleanliness is also very proper. That is what they ha Reno has done majorly. So till now we have shown you the exterior of the car. Now we will go into uh, the engine part of the car, and then we will move our review to the interior of the car. Now let us find out what's there in the engine. So as we know, this is a 800 cc engine. So see, this is the engine part. I will give you a close look of this. This is the main engine of this car. So this is an 800cc engine. It gives you a maximum power of 54 uh, PS and a maximum torque of about 72 Newton meter. I would like to add certain uh, details to this. What Renu has actually you know, done a lot of good things about this engine. That in the previous versions of the 27. That uh, most of the people they complain or even the users are complaining about the engine noise which you can get from the cable. So, what Reno has done really good with this 29 version is that they have given a very good insulation padding on which means now this insulation padding actually, like you know, makes it a much more uh, soundproof kind of a cabin inside okay, when you are actually driving the vehicle. So, this is something which Reno has really improved upon. These are the also insulation panels which have been moving inside so that there is a lot of. So these are some things that you can skip with this which comes with a battery, normal battery, which is a speed battery and the fuse box. And apart from that, it's, it's a normal This is the engine oil, this is the brake oil and this is the I think the wiper uh, wiper oh yeah. As we were explaining that people have been complaining about Renault about the engine noise. So let us see, is there any, actually is there any noise or it's just a myth that Renault car gives you huge noise. See, you can hear the noise. This is at par with any other car. This much of noise is audible in any other car. Whether it's a Maruti car or a Hyundai car. I don't think there is any additional noise or some, some kind of noise that yeah, concerned about or avoiding this car for excessive noise of this engine. So now let us move into the interior of the uh, car. We will show you the dashboard, the seat cover and how much leg space is there inside the car. So now friends we are inside the vehicle and I am just going to switch on the ignition where you will be able to get a lot of details about what we are getting in this entirely digital plasma meters okay so uh, what reno has done previously also in our, in the quid they had this first in the class uh, digital speedometers and this entire cluster is digital okay wherein you can see the total kilometers run now this is the uh, tank uh, like you know fuel tank meters and apart from that here uh, you are getting all the signs of your battery power steering malfunction engine immobilizers okay airbags and everything you get in that okay so in this dashboard which is very uh, like you know cleanly done up okay you get this piano uh, black finish okay with this uh, chrome sidings okay that you get and also in this uh, like you know digital console meters you get a chrome out here okay you get a lot of chrome in the middle okay this is a piano finish black in the steering steerings are very good to grip 
and uh, they have got thumb wrists also which is very important whenever you are traveling either in city or in the long run these are the ac vents that you get okay the open and the close here also like you know you get a lot of chrome work done out here okay in the acs same is on the side acs also where you, you get a lot of like you know chrome work done along with the chrome panels out here okay now in this in this cluster i will switch on okay and I, you will see like you know how it waves up okay now the engine is start engine is uh, running okay you get a seat belt alert okay, because i'm not putting the seat belt we are not driving that is the reason okay. so the moment like you know the both the passengers and the driver seat seat belt alerts are there okay inside it now it comes with the airbags okay out here coming to the central panel like you know which is the best in the class is this 7 inch touch screen display which comes with android carplay uh, android auto and uh, apple carplay features okay so uh, i will i will show you in a moment like you know how it actually works but first let us uh, show you this uh, climate control uh, section wherein you get the ac button this is the climate uh, like you know the temperature control uh, button this is the fan speed button okay and this is the interior and the exterior airflow movement and then again we have got the five uh, like five uh, modes by which you can change the direction of the flow of the air Below this is the hazard lights, okay, the power window buttons for the left side and the right side and this is the central locking button wherein if you put, push it, the central locking automatically happens, okay. And since this is a manual version, uh, auto, a manual version, manual transmission version, so uh, this particular segment is there. This is for the automatic version wherein you get the jog dials for the automatic ones. So uh, here in this particular segment, you, in this car you will get uh, an auxiliary power out and a USB which is a fast charging USB socket. Okay, with this you can connect to your smartphone. And uh, again, uh, Renault has given a lot of like you know space in, in this particular car. Whether you are driving, sitting, moving, whatever, you can use a lot of space. You can keep like you know a bottle out here, small bottle out here, your like you know coffee cups, everything out here. Okay, you get a 12 volt uh, charging socket out here to connect your uh, any other um, like you know accessories that you want to connect out here okay apart from that like you know you get a, a, sm a like you know storage space out here where you can keep your uh, like you know coins and all these things that you want to and the best thing that uh, like you, you get in this particular segment is there is a trunk I mean there is there is a storage space out here which is very uh, like you know good it is a very good utility thing out here okay on the top you get one middle storage where you can keep your uh, like you know purse where you can keep your sunglasses you can keep your normal spectacles and all and again you get one more additional uh, like you know storage unit wherein you can keep your car documentation car documents anything okay. so that is that is um, like you know more of the uh, entire thing and these are the very normal kind of like you know wipers uh, and uh, like you know car cleaner toggles that you get on the right hand side also you get the normal headlamp toggles and the fog lamp toggles and the like you know indicator toggles so these are the very normal things that you get in the front again there, uh, there are two speakers which are attached to it one on the left and one on the right the sound of the speakers are uh, like you know in this particular segment of the car is really good it's not great i would say but yes like you know it 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 it, it serves serves you the purpose for which it which it is given on the front like you know you get this uh, like you know lamp okay really lamp, which is very kind of a normal thing in every car of this particular segment is and you get this mic okay so whenever you are connecting your smartphone with this uh, system infotainment system you get a call or something you get the notification out here so when you are talking to someone this mic catches the voice so this is something which is not there in any other segment of the car and, and uh, Renault has done a lot of uh, other uh, features also, given a lot of features also in this Renault Quid uh, version, 2019 version, where it's, they have given a lot of storage, uh, like you know, on the driver side as well as the uh, uh, co-driver side, co-passenger side also. You get, uh, uh, like you know, the chrome finished, uh, like you know, door openers, okay, which is there. It is there on both the sides, it is there on all the four, uh, uh, like you know, doors. And again, on the both the sides, you get uh, the storage space. Here, you can easily accommodate two, uh, like you know, one liter bottles. And apart from that, you can keep a lot of other details like magazines, newspapers, and all these things. You can keep it in, in that particular segment. 
So this is all in all is a very compact, uh, like you know, console. I would see that dashboard. I would see, which which makes it a much much more uh, intelligent vehicle. Now I will connect you with the, this is this is a seven inch touch touch screen and that that is one of the best in the class okay, and you won't get it at, at this price range in any car. So I'll switch it on. I will show you how it how it works. So now these are the volume toggles. Okay, which is the volume toggles. Okay. Now my Bluetooth device is connected, so it automatically detects. You get the radio, the media, okay, the phone and settings. Well, which you can. Okay. The console. Now, what I can do is, I will connect my smartphone, okay, with with this to show you the how the Android Auto works. Okay, I will. I have connected this with the USB, and now I am connecting it with my smartphone. So once I connect it, it automatically picks Android Auto because it is already pre-installed. So what I do, I click here. See. It pops up. The screen pops up, and it shows you the entire information of the Android Auto. What you get. So here is the direction that you get. Okay. The navigation system. It is the call features. Okay. Then it is the main screen. Okay. Here, like you know, if you press, you get all the details. Like you know, which are the like you know songs you want to play, whether it is Amazon Music or whatever you want to play. You can get all the details from there. Okay. Like you get Amazon Music, Ana, Google, Play, Podcast. Okay. This is the call function, okay? From which you can make calls. You will get the receive calls also, like you know, you get all the details of your previous calls, missed calls, and everything. This is very important in our, uh, like you know, kind of daily commute, okay? Because the map is something which is a, a really wonderful feature that they have added with this touch screen facility. Wherein, like you know, you you get all the push to talk facilities also. If it supports your smartphone, so you get the push to talk and you can and like you know. Okay, Google, take me to this particular place, and that that actually you know, shows up. So that is it. Okay, like now you can see how my map is popping up. So now, if I if I like you know want to uh, go to the main uh, segment, I want to switch it up. So when I get calls, notifications, whatever, okay. I automatically get it over there, and this touch is also really good. It's not like you know, not super, I would say, but it serves the purpose. As I say, like you know, in the in free car segment of this particular class of the cars, this is something which is very unique that you get in the Renault Quid RXT. So uh, now you can see from the side, uh, you, you know, the posture, the sitting comfort, the seats are really good. Okay, you get bucket seats with this side padding, like you know, which makes you very comfortable, like you know, whenever you are driving, either in the long distance or even in the cities. Okay, so uh, Renault has done a really good job in terms of giving these kind of bucket seats, which are integrated headrests. Okay, that is there. For for my kind of a build, which is like you know around 5.4, uh, like you know 5 feet 4 inches, I would say like you know this is something where I can like you know see the front very clearly whenever I am driving. Okay, it gives me a very good uh, understanding of the sides also. Okay, so I am very comfortable sitting here. Okay, you get an enough of like space out here. Okay, to control it. Okay, and uh, the sitting posture and the comforts. Okay, the thigh. Uh, like you know, uh, the under thigh rests and everything are very well done in this particular segment. Uh, like you know, at this entry level segment of the hatchbacks. So here also you see a lot of legroom. Okay, my front seat being like you know a little bit on the front, uh, like you know, on the front side. Okay, so it is a little adjusted, but still you get enough of legroom. You get a lot of head space out here. Okay, and you get to see. A lot of space where you can freely move your feet. Even though, if you see this particular seat is like you know moved backwards. Still, if I go to this particular place, okay, then you will be able to see that I am very comfortable putting my like you know uh, legs out here, and I get a lot of space without any cringing or any kind of a cribbing that I have to do. The seats are all like you know comfortable for any kind of journey that you take, whether it is in the city, the family, and it's it's really wide uh, compared to the other segment of the cars because here uh, like you know a normal built uh, three people can sit easy. Okay. 
that 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 is something which Renu has done in a very like you know wonderful way. And the headspace is also good. Okay, in the same like you know you don't get any kind of like you know power windows here. You get the normal like you know roll down windows and the roll up window kind of knobs, and the chrome uh, like you know door openers. Okay, and this close uh, like you know lever to close it. You don't get any kind of storage in the back. In the back seats you don't get any kind of storage to keep any of your bottles or something. So you have seen the review by this. So you have seen this review of this Quid RXT petrol version 700A of 880cc car from Oil. So now we are showing you the leg space that is available in this car. Oil was 5 feet 4 inch height with a medium bit. And whereas I am a 100 kg guy with a height of about 5 feet 11 inch. So let us see the leg space that is available for a huge build person like me. So you can see I am in this car uh, in my comfortable sitting position. So the steering wheels are great. I have no problem in uh, holding the steering wheel or even to maneuver it inside the uh, uh, inside this uh, cabin. So I have, I have enough leg space here out there. You can see there is more than 4 inch space. I do not have any problem in accessing the gear or the, uh, the clutch or the brake. Everything is fine. The, the space is very well managed in inside this car. So now I will show you the back seat okay, of this car, keeping the position in this driving seat. My height is 5 feet and 11 inch. So keeping the driving seat position for a person of 5 feet and 11 inch, I will show you the back space of this car. Well, so now I am at the back side of this car. That is the back seat. So as you can see that there is a little bit of space crunch uh, when when a person of 5 feet and 11 inch or above 6 feet a person will sit. The headroom is clear. There is no problem with the headroom. But yes, there is a, a, a small uh, there is a small lacking in the space of the back seat. But yes, you can easily sit it. Okay, there is a curve of this. There is a curve uh, uh, at the front seat. So there is no problem with the leg room. Yes, your legs will touch the front seat, but you have a very soft cushion out here. So there won't be any problem sitting of a well-built person or a excessive built person like me. So there won't be any problem when a, a well-built person sit at the back side of the car. And there is enough space. Uh, three person would be tough for a person. the under thigh support is also good see the under thigh support for me comes till here so you can see it, it has maintained a very well under thigh support so that's all for this seat and now we will show you the exterior of the car the important feature that Reno has given is that they have given a 12 volt power charging socket out here on the rear seat as well for the rear passengers to charge their mobile phones it is not in any, any of the segment, uh, segmented cars of this particular like, you know, hatchback, entry level hatchbacks. So it is really helpful, like you know, if passengers were sitting on the back, they need to charge their mobile, they can connect it over here and they can charge their mobiles. They don't have to connect it to the front seats or something. The driver is actually using the GPS by connecting to the Android Auto or something. So that, these are some of the very unique features that uh, Quid uh, offers you okay, in this entry level hatchback uh, segment. So as we know, this boat is more than about 300 liters, or it's about 300 liters, I think. Yes, it is 300. But it looks like it's more than 300 liters. So now we are inside this quid. Now we are inside this quid, and now we will show you of the driving experience of quid or a uh, traveler's experience at the back seat of the quid. So let us go ahead and see how the experience is inside the quid. So 
so we fired up the engine okay so as you can see we don't get much of a noise out here also like you know it is very okay like you know the kind it's of it's a very silent ca cabin actually yes exactly now i'll switch on the uh, like you know ac so it's really really hot outside so it's i think it's more than 40 it's degrees 40, 40 celsius degrees. it's 36 feel degrees. like maybe around 50 degrees yes, celsius and you know degrees. he has just switched on the ac and at the back seat i am feeling quite a good uh, ambience here the, uh, the 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 cooler is working the ac is working very well so now if you see like you know i'm actually driving this particular car okay i'm very comfortable in handling the uh, car in in this particular segment it gives me a lot of power and the you know kind of uh, throw that it requires whenever you are driving with the vehicle or sitting okay now this instrument cluster i would uh, like you know if you, if you see it's very intelligent in a sense like you know it gives you uh, so many notifications whenever you are driving even though it does not makes you distract or distract so now you see you you see a gear shift change that means i need to change my gear i change it and the arrow is gone so these are some of the very good uh, like you know features which uh, like you know reno offers you in this segment now it is time for me to change the gear again and i change it okay now there are certain other features which are also very good in this uh, like you know console is that it gives you a beep it gives you a beep if you if your seat belt is not on gives you a beep like you know if you are driving past 80 okay i'll show you how like you know let me cross okay. see see the beep okay that means i'm crossing 80 i've crossed 80 and it gives you an intermittent beep in case like you know if you keep uh, like you know driving at 80 past 80 I think this is the automobile standard that government has set exactly. from 2019 that exactly. whenever you cross 80 kilometers you have to give a notification. Exactly. That now if you see like you know the maneuvering of the car is also really good at a very short radius I could turn okay and like you know the rev up or the power up of the engine is also good okay that means it, it is even though it is 800 cc it is not short of that much of power that you uh, like you know, have a, that people have a misconception that an 800 cc engine uh, cannot give you the rave up of the power or something, right? So uh, it, it it gives you a very good feel, like you know, once you are driving, okay? It gives you a very good kind of a mileage uh, understanding. Like if 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 I see it now, I will just uh, show you in the clusters that I am currently my car is just uh, like you know 200 kilometers driven. So my current mileage is 13.7 with the AC on, okay. And uh, this is what I'm expecting in this kind of a speed. I can expect 24.7, 27, 29 kind of kilometers per liter. And distance to empty is 130 kilometers. The kind of fuel that I have, it shows me that my distance to empty is 130 kilometers per liter. So with this kind of, uh, like, you know, all uh, sort of features that you are getting in this quid, it really makes a car to stand out in the competition market today. Yeah, actually, you don't get so many so many features in any of the cars available in this price range. Like the uh, Alto or the uh, Hyundai has launched the new car that is the Hyundai Centro. Uh, Centro is at a uh, higher price range, and, uh, and they are not giving at all any kind of you know the features or something like that at this price range. You will get this car at this price range, but at the base level, you won't get any uh, good feature in uh, in that car. The build quality of the interior is also not that bad, I would say, like, you know, compared to the other uh, cars that we have in the market today. The build quality of the materials of the plastics that Reno has used in, in the quid is also not that bad. So now I will show you how the back camera of this car works actually. See, you put it on neutral, it has got a very different system. Like, you know, you have to pull up this lever, you, you have to push it to the left and then throw up, okay? So then your camera, back camera gets activated. You get this range, okay? The blue, the green, and the, the uh, green, the yellow, and the red. So now I'm going back using my back camera to pass my vehicle. I can see the clearly, okay, you know, the range at which, like, you know, I need to, like, you know, once I see that there is a different
that's all for today's review of this Renault Quid 2019 version. I'm very thankful to Ayan well, for, uh, for, for giving the in-depth review of his car. He has actually started the car very well before uh, uh, purchasing his car and compared with many uh, good cars like the uh, leader, like the market leaders like the, Ma the Maruti or the Hyundai or any other car. He has compared so many cars and then he has purchased this car. So you can see the, uh, how happy he is with his car. So uh, friends, that's all for today. We will be bringing you more videos and more reviews for you. Please help us by liking our uh, video and commenting and sharing the same. And also, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.